Hello, and welcome to another installment of Reverend Bidet Today, which is my vlog that I love so very much because it's a chance for me to invite you into my today. So welcome back to the vlog space again. Today is vlog six, and we've got a lot of exciting stuff for you. But before we do that, we're going to kick it off with my partner in crime. Y'all know her, the youth minister for church night, Kathy Piata. Hey, everyone. Hello. Hi, Kathy. Hey, praise him. Praise him. How are you? I'm fantastic. Oh, it's so hey, nice to see you. I get a great praise rhyme for you folks today, straight no. out of the rhyme Bible. Okay. It goes like this. Okay. Dear Lord, liar, liar, pants on fire, your nose is longer than a telephone wire. <laughs> and basically, folks, what this praise rhyme is saying is, if you lie, the Lord's going to set your pants on fire. Don't burn them right off. That's right. Burn them right off. You'll be out there in your skivvies. And your nose will be long. It's a yeah. terrible, terrible thing. Yeah, you'll look all fucked up receiving judgment. Mm -hmm. No one wants that. Mm -hmm. Well, we are so excited to be here today in the vlog space, and we're going to get to some really exciting stuff in just a bit, but before we do that, I would love to introduce our guest today, because without our guests, we are nothing here in the vlog space. Today, it is my honor and pleasure to have with us in the vlog space, Zach Rothman, the bass player for Humble Fire. Hello, Zach. Hey, Zach. Hi, Reverend. Hi, How Kathy. are you? It's so exciting to have... Now, Zach has played... Uh, at our church night services with three different bands. He is a journeyman troubadour bassist playing all around town. He is, I dare say, one of the most preeminent praise bassists in Washington, D.C. He, he is the biggest praisist in Washington, D.C. Praise bassist. He is. He is the, maybe the biggest praisist in the Mid-Atlantic. And it is so exciting to have him sitting here with us to talk to us about Humble Fire and, and some of the upcoming fun stuff that Humble Fire is going to be doing. Now, Zach, I'd like to start with a segment that we call Reverend Today's Question of the Day today. Sure. And today's question of the day today is uh, to talk a little bit about um, uh, Humble Fire. Now, I understand the name of the band comes from your passionate, passionate feelings about the terrible Humboldt Fires of 2014 in Humboldt County, California, devastating the devastating. wildlife and infrastructure. Many homes burnt down. That, that's, I mean, that's, that's that a very... you were called Humble Fire, H-U-M-B-L-E. You're talking about a place in California. That's not really what it's about. It's not related. Okay. Uh, I'm yeah. a little you, confused you, about so this. So you don't care about wildfires in Humboldt County? Well, I mean, it's just not something that we've considered... It's just not related to what we're doing. All right, Zach. Okay. Uh, I got a question for you because the people are going to want to know now that right, uh, right. we found out that you actually don't care about oh, wildfires. I mean, fires. I care about fires. Sure you not. do. Let her talk. Yeah, Let her talk. Yeah, I, I need to ask the question, though. No, if it's not about wildfires in Humboldt County, <laughs> what is the band name about? Well, what, what do you call Humboldt Fire for? Well, our singer... Nefra was inspired by a documentary she saw about a uh, Korean potter and uh, there was a, a line about how when you create something out of clay, something fragile and beautiful and put it in the kiln, uh, the kiln can either complete it or destroy it and the fire of the kiln makes you humble and that's sort of how we like to work in Humble Fire. We all collaborate and bring our inspiration to each other and sort of let, let it let it be what it's yeah, going to be. I'm kind of having trouble uh, establishing the connection here between Korean pottery and wildfires. No, no, they already said they don't care about wildfires. It's not, there's no... <laughs> but they care about fires. You sort of lost the thread entirely. In Korea. I don't I think. Not on our like, own soil. Is that what they used to make that bulgogi stuff in the food? Another question. All right. Sure. So, we know you guys are playing at the Johnny Grave Halloween Circus Halloween Night at Black Cat. Yeah, yeah. Gonna We're going to be the ringleaders. We're going to It's going to be so much fun, Zach. Oh, yeah. So much fun. No doubt. But there's word on the Praces Street that Humble Fire has a new lineup for that show. Can you go tell ahead us. and tell, tell our us audience? All about it. It's true. Uh, Joining us on the drum kit is Sean Barna, who I think you guys know. We Sean know Barna. Uh, Cutter, he, bug Cutter Bug Spray. Yeah, um, he plays the drums with sort of existential fury, which um, I'm into that. Cool. 
-hmm. And also joining us is Nick Dupre, also known as Doris Clitoris, who you, I think you also know. Oh, Lord. Um, yeah. And he will be uh, blowing your mind with technicolor blasts of synth noise. I can't Amazing. wait to be blown by Nick Dupre. Who else is in the, I only got two fingers up. Who else is in the band? Oh, well, Dave Epley, our guitarist, and, and Dave, Nefra. And Nefra. We're, I mean, you already knew about them. And then you. And me. Yeah, this That's right. I'm it's five playing people. bass in the, in the band that we're talking about, yeah. That is so exciting. Well, oh my lord. It has been just so wonderful to talk to you about all kinds of things. Wildfires, apathy, right? Korean food, really tasty stuff. New band lineups, and of course, on October the 31st, at the Black Cat here in Washington, D.C. You can see Humble Fire and Church Night Hustin and Johnny Grave and the Tombstones and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. And it is just going to be a blast. And we are going to save so many souls there with the help of Humble Fire and all these people. That's right. Uh, I am pretty yeah, disappointed, yeah. though, about that wildfire stuff. Why don't you give a I, shit? There's fucking animals all over. Haven't you ever seen a reindeer? Polar bears are... There's some misunderstanding happening here. I feel like we need to start back at the beginning. Now we're going to end the vlog the way that we always do, which is by joining hands and saying with each other, to each other, for each other, and for him, blessings and lies. Oh, Lord, this was a good yeah. one. Okay, there's that. Go ahead now. so good. Yeah, that is such a talent. That's amazing. Oh, Lord. There's fucking animals all over. Haven't you ever seen a reindeer?